What's up? What's up? What's up? Hope everybody's doing super well. Um, I hadn't talked about this really at all, but I wanted to do a video about it. Um, it happened back on September 30th, so I wanted to tell you guys like how this whole thing happened and what you can do to protect yourself. And uh, I've kind of been waiting too from the feds to kind of give me a breakdown of like how the whole thing works, if I'm going to get my money back, stuff like that. But I'll tell you guys the story. So um, it was a Thursday. It was September 30th, I believe. And um, I was on the phone with the client. Okay, just on the phone with the client. It was 515. So the phone call drops. And the funny thing is, my I had like three phone calls drop. Three phone calls drop that day. I had to reset my phone. So I thought that was weird. Also, I had a notification that day about two or three hours before they actually hacked me um, that's, that there was a notification from Coinbase saying, here's your code. So I knew something funny was going on, but I wasn't worried about it because I have my phone, right? I have my phone and I thought, well... I'm not worried about anybody getting in there because they don't have access to my text messages, right? So the phone call drops for the fourth time, about 5.15, talking to a client. Then I get a text message that says, your phone number's being ported to a different carrier. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. So I tried to call Verizon. It wouldn't go out on my phone. I grabbed my wife's phone. I call Verizon, I put my phone number in, and they say, this is not a Verizon number. <laughs> this is not a Verizon number. This number is not registered on the Verizon account. So, <laughs> immediately when I heard that, I said, wait a minute, this is real. So, I got in the car, rushed to Verizon, go there, I'm like, what's going on here? You know, like, get my number back right now. Right, like I got 20 years worth of real estate business coming in on this phone, um, along with all kinds of other things, like countless other things, running all kinds of businesses, all kinds of stuff. And basically, the guy was like, I've never seen this before. <laughs> like, here's how you call Verizon from your phone when it has no service. And so, right then, like, I was on the hold with Verizon in the Verizon office and then the Verizon uh, shop. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. I remembered that I got that notification about Coinbase. And I thought right then, that's what's going on. Somebody's trying to hack into my Coinbase. So I'm like, dude, get me online right now. Like put me, like, put the Wi-Fi code on right now. And let me get in here and get online and try to move some money around. So I, uh, I go to my Coinbase and I try to transfer. Boom, as soon as I hit transfer, it says, what's the code we just texted you? And I was like, boom, like I knew right then I was screwed. I knew right then that I was done. So, um, so I was like, wait a minute. And then, so then I got a notification that my password on my email had changed and I was like, wait a minute. Um, so luckily I had a second email that I was able to, to change the password back. And then I rushed home like was running around like a gerbil trying to get all my passwords changed, phone numbers changed on everything because I didn't know what all these hackers were going to get into or what all they wanted. I was watching my Coinbase just dwindle to nothing and uh, I emailed them. They shut my account down. So I'm on hold with Verizon for two hours. They finally come on. Long story short, they figure out what happened. They said somebody hacked into my Verizon account, ported my number to a different carrier, which later I found out was Metro PC, and then were able to intercept all my text messages at that point. And so they were able to get that code that Coinbase texts you. Okay, and that's how they did it. They hacked into my Verizon account, ported my number to a different carrier, and then took over my phone and text messages. So my advice, number one to you guys, is, is to get a port lock on your phone through your carrier. A port lock. That way they call you when your number's being ported and, and then see if it's really you. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, is I had some of my crypto in the exchange, Coinbase, and some in my wallet, my MetaMask wallet. And they didn't touch anything in my wallet. Like, 
If it would have been in my wallet, they wouldn't have touched it. They didn't touch anything there. So the second lesson is always keep everything in your wallet. So basically, I'm on the phone with Verizon. They tell me what's happening. And, they, and I say, I need my phone number back. And they said, well, you can't. <laughs> you can't have your number back until you file a police report, get the police report to us. We use the police report to send a Metro PC to force them to give us your number back. So, of course, that didn't happen that night. They gave me a temporary number. I filed a police report, got the report the next day. I was on the phone with Verizon, Regions, the Gulf Shores PD, and the FBI all day that next day. And I had my number back by the end of the day. They told me it could take up to a week, but it was only 24 hours I was without my number. Thank God. That was the biggest thing I was worried about, to be honest with you. Um, and and uh, so that that's how it happened. That's what you can do to protect yourself. Now, my wife, you know, later on that night or maybe it was the next day, I can't remember when it was, but she said, you need to do a video on how you handled this because... Um, it was like, I mean, I was scrambling around, but the thing was, was I really wasn't that bothered by this. Um, I really wasn't that, you know, like losing the money and stuff wasn't a big thing to me. And she was like, most people would have been throwing stuff, cussing, um, just out of their mind, mad, rage, um, all kinds of stuff. And I said, yeah, but the thing is, um, is that money doesn't move me. Money doesn't move. Money's like not the thing for me. It's not like what like makes me. It's not like the root of my happiness. It's not my identity. It's not my net worth and all that good stuff. Um, I, I really didn't care at all. I just didn't want them to get my phone number, start messing with all my clients, so on and so forth. That was the biggest thing for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and I said, you know, listen, when, when I tell people that I don't care if I go to zero tomorrow, I really mean that shit. I really mean it um, because the connections I've made, the relationships I've created and the communication skills that I've developed over the years, I could turn right around and make a million dollar business tomorrow. I, I've, and, and look, I've already lost a million back in my mid 20s mm -hmm. and had to start over and made it all back again. I've already done this. There's nothing to it. That doesn't change my lifestyle. I'm still going to wake up every day and work, work, work. That's all I know is grind. I don't, it, money doesn't change what I'm going to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, so money just doesn't move me. Um, that's why I do everything for free. That's why I coach for free. That's why I uh, turn my YouTube ad revenue off. That's why I'm not charging uh, ticket uh, for tickets to come to my events. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. Hours I spend with agents. Countless hours I spend with agents on the phone trying to help people, never charging them a dime. So anyway, just want to let you guys know I haven't talked about it at all. I know a lot of you've been asking. Um, so that's how it happened. They hacked into my Verizon account, ported my number, and boom, they were off to the races at that point. Um, so be careful out there. Keep all your keep all your crypto in a wallet, and put and call your carrier. Make sure you have a port lock on your phone number. All right? Take care guys. We'll talk to you soon.